Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I hope it's not too dark. Um, still, it's very early on a Saturday morning. Jason has gone fishing. Um, that doesn't mean catching. <laughs> but uh, he's with uh, his um, his brother and our niece and uh, so yeah I have some time to to chat with all of you and I really wanted to come because it was so early um, hopefully this video won't get interrupted by some barking dogs but uh, yeah I you know I've been thinking back to like the first summer I was on booktube and I filmed so many videos out here in the backyard and I really miss that so I wanted to try to do that again and hopefully you'll see some birds or hear some bird song in the background. So. I had a weird experience this week of, um, I went back and watched my Friday Reads video from, from almost a year, about a year ago. And I was watching it and I just thought, my God, that, that could have been, I could have made the same video. <laughs> Um, this week, like, or last week, I, it, it, things were so incredibly similar that in an unfortunate way, um, that it really troubled me. And so I am going to be looking for some ways, some changes that I can make, some things that I have control over, um, to try to... <laughs> <laughs> to try to improve, I guess, my own quality of life. So I'll keep you posted on that and we'll see what happens. I did make a drastic vacation decision, um, which will only benefit this channel. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know if I should have, if I should have done that or not, but it's done and yeah. So this week, challenges in my household ah there were a cut there were a couple sad moments couple tough tough things but we we got through them uh so the first one being i i think it was actually on monday monday morning that the news came out that uh frederick beekner had died and probably most of you aren't familiar with Fred Frederick Beekner. Um, he was um, a Presbyterian minister. Didn't really, I don't, I don't really think he had a church for, for most of his, uh, I guess, ordained life. And I, he also didn't go to church uh, a lot of the time. Um, I think it's really hard for ministers to hear other people preach um, because they're always thinking about what they would, what they would say differently. But um, back when Jason and I lived in Missoula, we read his book, Secrets in the Dark, um, A Life in Sermons. This is such an excellent book. And I know many of you, for many of you, you know, reading about sermons is not something that, that you might be interested in, but, um, he is, he's very, well, he was a very progressive person and he had a lot of life experience that he was willing to be vulnerable with and share. Um, and these sermons are, are fantastic. And it's been so long I'm kind of thinking like I need to, I need to return to this book. But in addition to, in addition to sermons, I mean, he wrote not lots of nonfiction essays um, and he wrote novels. Um, this one is The Storm, which is a retelling of The Tempest. And so I may, I may have to read this uh, in September. I hope to create a, a, a September TBR video for you guys soon. So last year, I think it was last year for maybe Midrash, I read one of his novels um, called Godric, which was about, um, yeah, like a retelling of a saint's life kind of thing uh, in novel form. So anyway, he, he was just really influential for both Jason and myself. And um, I mean, he was 96, he died in his sleep. Um, so I'm glad that his, his passing was peaceful. 
but I'm, I'm still quite sad that uh, he is he's gone from from this place um, the other thing that happened was the air conditioner went out which you guys have no idea <laughs> <laughs> that is a very, very serious thing in our house. And the people that we normally work with were like, well, we might be able to come at nine o'clock at night. <laughs> so anyway, Friday was, Friday was just wild. There was just so much going on yesterday. I can't even believe it. But anyway, the air conditioning is back on. Yay! So that is just really key. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know is I'm going to be doing some surveys on my community tab. The community tab is a really kind of funky thing. Um, it's for anybody who has a channel that has more than 500 subscribers. You can access people's community tabs on their phone or on your personal computer, but you cannot access the community tab on a tablet. So if you're watching this on your iPad, um, you'd have to go to a different device to see my community tab. And it's not so much that I want you guys to tell me like what videos to make, but there are oftentimes videos that I, I've, I publish and I'm really surprised by the response that I get. And, um, and I, like, I've, I've had moments where I'm like, oh, like, this is so ridiculous. I'm not going to tell my love story with Jason and I um, in regards to books. Um, and some of you really, really enjoyed that. It made you smile, it made you laugh. That, like, really brings me a lot of joy. And so, um, but yeah, I had moments where I was like, I'm not, no, I'm not going to post this. Like, I'm just, oh, it's so cornball and cheesy. And I know it was. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I, again, I'm, I'm going to be doing maybe like a, a survey once a week for a little while. I say that. We'll see what happens. Um, see if I, how, how good my follow through is on that. But um, again, I, it, it's not so much, oh, there's squirrels up in the tree. Um, it's not so much about, again, like you guys deciding what sort of content um, I create on this channel, but uh, just having a better sense. Because the truth is, like, if there's a video that I really want to make that I'm really excited about, then I will definitely make that video, um, regardless of how many people watch it. Um, whatever like if it's something I really want to do then I will do it so a little while ago I did a survey um, that was you know what are the things you you always watch on booktube because I at the time I thought I was only gonna be able to make one video a week um, and so I thought Friday reads was gonna be um, the number one choice but actually it was reviews and wrap-ups um, that I think ended up being number one. But the more people who contribute to those surveys, um, the better sense I have. So anyway, so just keep an eye out for those and um, I will maybe put the first one up tomorrow uh, on Sunday. So, okay, reading. <laughs> I wish I had something new new to say here. Um, I, I, I guess the big thing was this week I did finish reading Louise Erdrich's The Painted Drum. Oh god, I just, I so wanted to give this book five stars, but it is not a five star book. Um, I absolutely loved it at times. The writing was electrifying at certain moments. It was just incredible. Um, and, and again, I, I know I've said this in previous videos, like the fact that she made a drum, like somehow a character in this book, but the scenes without the drum or that aren't related to the drum are, they're just, they're lagging a bit. It was also very confusing to know where I was in time and who these different characters were. There's a lot of characters in this book. And and I think that's true for a lot of Louise Erdrich's book. Like she's she's very 
capable of moving back and forth in time um, as a writer. I just, I just got a little thrown off. So I think I ended up giving this book four stars on Goodreads. You can check out my Goodreads channel um, down below. But uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this book. It could have been, it could have been better. Um, like I said, there's just a few places where I'm like, yeah, like, let's get back to the drum. <laughs> so the drum was just, it was amazing. So, um, anyway, so I, I did finish this, this book up, which was good, which is good. Um, I so, before I filmed this video this morning, wanted to have finished the Netanyahu's, um, but I caved to my husband, my poor husband, who had had such a rough day yesterday, and we watched Ghostbusters last night which he pretty much has every single line uh, memorized. But uh, yeah, so I am very, very close to finishing the Netanyahu's. I will be making a special review video of just this book. So you can look for that hopefully by the end of the month. Um, and yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hold, hold out my, my thoughts on it until I'm, I'm all the way done. But that has to happen today. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this today, and then I am still um, behind in Shakespeare for every day here. I know you're, you're shocked. Um, I watched Kim from Middle of the Book March's uh, video this morning, this, this whole baby watch thing, and I guess I guess her daughter went into labor at about five o'clock last night, but she has already started reading our buddy read now in November by Josephine Johnson. Um, this is a Pulitzer Prize winning novel um, that both of us have read, and so it's gonna be really interesting to do a buddy read that both of, for both of us, it's a reread. Um, so I'm, I'm excited um, and, and curious what that experience is gonna be like. It's a short, it's a short thing. Um, and so, you know, I think we're just gonna check in with each other in as, as, as needed and, and uh, talk about the book. But I'm, I'm really excited to read this with Kim. I've never done a buddy read with her. So that should be a lot of fun. And then if there is time, I am either going to read Homegoing or The Orchardist. You guys had such great things to say about The Orchardist that I'm, I'm greatly tempted, but there are some, some events on the horizon, aren't there? So I promise that I'm going to read both of those books by the end of this year. If you've read any of these books, if you have any thoughts on any of these, um, I, would, I would love to hear that. I would love to hear what you're reading. Um, what you're what you're doing this weekend if you have any special plans um, I am gonna try to get some housework done I am finishing the Netanyahu's I will start now in November I will try to get caught up in Shakespeare for every day of the year and fingers crossed I have hopefully will be going to the library soon um, to to get some books so that I can make my September TBR, which should be, should be really great. So, all right, you guys, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for being here for me, for being my friends. I especially want to thank Gina from Gina Stand Your Books and Nathan uh, Fong um, for their wisdom this week. <laughs> about about whether I should chime in on things or whether I should just keep my mouth shut and uh, yeah I appreciate uh, appreciate having people that are can kind of be sounding boards for me um, on booktube so thank you guys booktube remember to be kind to yourself be kind to others and I will be back with another bookish video soon bye